Hi everyone, welcome, I'm Snookus. Today we're gonna start off a new campaign here in Eon 4 and we're gonna call it This is Persia. And the reason for that is we're gonna try to get the achievement This is Persia. And the achievement calls for um, forming Persia, um, having Anatolia as a core, having all of Egypt, um, Greece as a core, and having all of Egypt as a core. So we're gonna start off as Karakunulu. Karakunlu and um, try to form Persia, basically. And that's because they have the right culture and the right religion and all of that snuff. And um, as you can see, our biggest threat in the beginning is going to be the Timurids and um, then later on Ottomans, because the Ottomans always blob out. Okay, so this is options, uh, just as usual, the same as usual. And the ideas and stuff we're going to go over when we get in there. So let's uh, let's start off here. As you see, as you can see, I've already tried it once just to see that everything was uh, correct. So let's uh, let's jump in. Jump in. I've actually never played as a, a horde or a Karakanulu or Timurids or anything like that, except for a game as the Golden Horde a long, long time ago. And as you can see, there are some. Uh, unique mechanics here, the horde unity instead of legitimacy and stuff like that, but we'll get into that later on. As you also can see is that we have a lot of um, revolts springing up here. Um, the ideas then. Horde traditions gives us aggressive expansion impact, minus 10%, uh, 5 years less of separatism, and the final ideas, if you finish off all of the ideas, we also get stability cost modifier, minus 10%. Life of the Step Warrior gives us land attrition, less land attrition. Traditions of the Great Khan gives us convert, uh, cavalry combat ability, really nice. Especially since we are Eastern tech or even Horde tech, I, maybe. Um, well, since the institutions, we I don't actually know if the techs are grouped like that anymore. We also have a unique estate here, but we will come to that. Step Leaders gives us more Land Leader Shock. The Traditions of Conquest gives us cheaper core creation, which is going to be really nice in uh, Anatolia. Um, Logistics of the Khan gives us more manpower recovery, and the Glory of Conquest gives us more national manpower. So, okay, uh, pretty nice grouping there. Everything, pretty much everything uh, focused on war. Everything except core creation, but even that is kind of created aimed toward a war focus there, which is great for us because this is going to be a very conquest-centric campaign. And I can tell you right now that we are uh, we're going to try to not conquer Akkanulu and um, Dulkadir and so, so on uh, over to the Ottomans because we want to keep a buffer between ourselves and the Ottomans as long as possible. And then we're gonna tr try to focus on some trade as well. I think um, trade here through the um, through, through the Gulf here, the Persian Gulf, and um, also through Persia. Persia is gonna be a big economic boost for us. So, yep, yeah, right. Let's check our religion. We are Shia, which means we are a different religion than um, Timurids, which are Sunni. So that pretty much means that we are in conflict with more or less every nation, um, Muslim nation around. Okay, so Lithuania for some reason is our rival. They they can barely get to us, but sure. And same with Georgia, but that I get more. We can definitely beat Georgia. And then Mamluks, which I also get. Um, so let's figure out who we should choose. Georgia might not be a stupid idea. We, I imagine we're gonna conquer them pretty pretty quickly and that will also boost our power projection here. Um, Timurids, I imagine we're gonna fight with them as well. And then Mamluks, maybe, yeah, actually let's pick Mamluks. And Mamluks are also rivaled with Venice Timurids and us, so that's not great. Uzbek and uh, Mamluks. Okay, so it's possible that I should have... Um, actually, I didn't pick the Timurids, right? Or did I? 
I did. I shouldn't have. If I hadn't, I could possibly have allied them against... Well, just allied them in general. And then allied them against the Mamluks. Because we don't really want to expand into here anyway. Uh, for Persian nation, we need a few areas here. Kasvin, Yazd, Isafan. Okay, so let's find those. Uh, I really have no idea where they are. Just okay, so basically we have to conquer parts of Timurid, so we, we want to go in there anyway. Okay, um, I imagine, let's cheat a bit here and check out the uh, ledger for the army sizes. Timurids have 37,000 and a lot of manpower. We have 21,000 and 21,000. So we probably could beat them in a war, um, but we would have to play out, um, I think I have simplified terrain here somewhere. We can also always just go in here. Um, we have a lot of mountains which we can utilize, unfortunately so do they. And with the new um, fort mechanics means that we would uh, have a hard time advancing into them. Although they would have uh, the same problem going into us. So what we really should try to do is find some natural allies. But unfortunately, I don't think we have any real natural allies, since we are one of the few Shia nations around. Um, Shirwan, I imagine... Unless Shirwan wants to be our vassal, which, no, they don't. I believe, I imagine we're gonna conquer them straight off. Uh, can we get any land maintenance now? Report from speed, no. I would like like discipline or something, but uh, we can't afford it, I'd imagine. Anything other that seems really good to start off? Don't... No. No. Okay. Okay, so this is our leader, the Shah Yahan Shah Karakonulu. Kaunlu? Koyunlu? A 2 to 4, which is decent, but ship durability doesn't really do much for a nation that barely have any ports. And then... Shahzad Hassan Ali Kara Kunlu, which is freaking awful. Um, we could maybe get away with him right away, but we really need a prestige to start off with. We, possibly we can get rid of him later on. Our fleet is um, pretty awful as well. I don't really know where we would transport them anywhere, so let's actually just remove all of our transports. We could try to sell them, but everyone hates us, so that wouldn't work. Uh, and this is Basra, so let's try to get some kind of trade income. Now, we have some diplomats free. And... It, maybe we could ally like Golden Horde and Nogai. Nogai would actually be a pretty useful ally is if we could get them to uh, help us against the Timurids. So let's try that. We never know. Uh, I doubt it, but we never know. And um, let's see here. We had one other Shia nation. So okay, so we can't vassalize them diplomatically. We can attack them and vassalize them, but um, I think actually, uh, what's, it, what's it called? Hasa. I think Hasa is a pretty natural expansion for us early on because they have the right religions. We w wouldn't have to worry about increased revolt risk. So we probably won't attack them. I, I think we go for Shirvan first, possibly Tabaristan, and possibly Ardalan. And then we keep on the ready for all, all times. Um, on the possibility that uh, the Timurids might attack us and that we have to run to the mountains. Mountains. Okay, um, we should try to not spend more money than necessary. Uh, since we probably will have to go into uh, debt to defend against the Timurids. Okay, uh, now the revolts.
you know what? I think this might be the easiest way to handle them. If we ta if we check like here, what are you unrest about? Religious unity. Yep, I can imagine intolerance and non-accepted culture. So it's not not something that's gonna tick down either, and that's with full horde unity. Okay, so we. Hope for that. We don't have enough to increase our stability uh, straight off. Um, something else we could do. Yeah, right. We were. Um, I actually think we have to do this to just stay afloat. Yerevan. Yerevan Nakhivan and Van. Shit. I think these are up here, right? Yep. What are you so? Intolerance. The same as usual. Okay, is there any chance we can um, convert anyone? Of course not. We could increase our piety and that will help us. I don't know. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to start off, I guess, and see where it goes. If we check how large we the uh, they're not huge. I mean, 14,000 is pretty bad. Which is the one that's the worst, actually. But we, we can handle them if we have to. It's only a manpower problem, which we will try to keep under wraps. Okay, uh, well, let's uh, let's start off right away. Ardalan is actually a vassal, so we can tag them anyway. But still, uh, let's go. Hopefully, no guy... I would like them to choose um, Timurids as a rival. Golden Horde, you... Your ally with Uzbek. Which is right over here, right? Oh shit, we should try to get them or on our good side as well. They... We had the same... Um, enemy, so... Okay, so we're guaranteed by the Timurids. That's actually quite nice. And I'm gonna march up here and try to take Shirvan as soon as possible. We, we do have this. Can we take... We can conquest with that. Okay, so um, that's nice. Do we have any generals? We don't. Let's check our... Okay, our leader is awful. A general. Much better, actually. Even though fire um, isn't useful for us at all, but still. We also have this unique estate, the tribes, which gives us manpower recovery speed. And we can also get support tribes, which gives us loyalty with them, okay. Uh, contribute warriors, which gives us manpower. Race host, which I think gives us swarm cavalry. For free, okay. Um, Let's actually do that. That's great. Uh, where do we get them? In the capital? No, just where... I suppose where they are like that. They have these promises. Okay. Uh, that's great. That's a really useful mechanic, actually. Okay, money-wise, because we increased autonomy everywhere, we're gonna have a, a lot of issues now. But that was to be expected, I suppose. Did you have any siege? No, you didn't. Okay. Okay, let's take Shirvan. Can we vassalize? Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Then after this, we're gonna try to take um, Georgia right away. I imagine Timurid's gonna attack us as soon as we... Although they're in a war right now, we should maybe capitalize on this. That war, their war with uh, Nogai. Try to get them um, in our good graces here. Get us in their good graces, rather. Okay, so not now it's just a matter of sieging down the province. Not 
That's enough. We don't have any use for, for the forge now anyway, so let's lower them and ac let's actually lower our maintenance as well. Um, hopefully that doesn't mean that the inflation, no, the attrition ruins our army. I don't think it will. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Um, Nogai and Kassan, Timurit and Ardalan. Kassan is quite large actually. Okay, I... We might... <laughs> Nogai might actually lose here. They probably will lose, actually. Can we ally you? You would almost ally us if we weren't in a war. So let's get this war over with as soon as possible, and then we can ally Uzbek. Which isn't a huge nation, but um, them together with us should at least be able to pose a threat for the Timurids, hopefully. Oh, and we have to remember that the Timurids have just as many uh, revolt issues as we do, so... Uh, um, they won't be in the best position to attack either. Okay, um, no, not like that. Okay, uh, I'm considering actually just making them a vassal. And then getting a lot of money instead of... Um, Uh, of new um, territory, although new territory will give us, give us more money long term, uh, short term it won't do much for us more and more than giving us more uh, rebel issues. I want to get this war over with as soon as possible, and there we go. Now let's. Uh, Vassalize them, give us all their money. Done, done, done. Cool. Now we have a vassal, and which would be our first uh, relationship spot here. And we also want to uh, royal marriage them when we can. Okay, now we actually. I think we might have lost some. Uh, with them maybe something anyway let's ready up for a war with Georgia and this time we're gonna take at least uh, this province here so we get access to Circassia and Kasikmuk Kasikumuk it's a lot of uh, provinces and nations here I can't pronounce and I apologize for anyone that <laughs> takes offense I don't mean to Offend anyone. Um, although... Okay. I realize we actually have to... Um, uh, create a claim on Georgia since they are not a tribe. Local autonomy or administrative. I think local autonomy seems like the most reasonable idea here. And I also, I'm also gonna boost stability actually and that might not seem like the greatest idea it should be nice to us to actually just tech up um we need to keep all of these revolts on the wraps we can always suppress them but in that case some of them is gonna fire are gonna fire and then we will lose unnecessary manpower the war is over with the timurids unfortunately now these guys are at war with a bunch of powers over here so that's not nothing to worry about I'm really worried about Timurids here. Uh, okay, so we're getting close here to uh, being able to ally Uzbek. No guy, no reason to ally them anymore. Kazan. No, they, they won't ever ally us. No guy. Sorry, dude. You had your chance. We could possibly uh, get the Ottomans. We will have to fire, uh, fight with them uh, eventually. 
so you know what? Who's this? No guy shouldn't be improved anymore. Um, Mamluks are our, our, are our rival, so they won't ever. Uh, so let's improve with the Ottomans to try and um, get something out of that situation. Okay, anyway, uh, I'm gonna end it here. And uh, you've been great. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Please consider leaving a like. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye.